Welcome to ProStitcher Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. Have you ever wondered how to save a workspace and how to open a workspace? I want to show you how to do it. It's really great when you're setting up an entire quilt and you only get a quilt partway through, you want to come back the next day, you can save everything in a workspace, the design and the area, all the designs that you've had open. So let's go ahead and start by seeing how to open a workspace that's been saved. On the screen, we'll select the file tab first. And from the ribbon, we have our first three options are actually libraries. We have a design library, a workspace library, and an area library. We're going to focus on the workspace library right now. So to open a workspace, I'm going to select the workspace button. And you can see right here, I have the last workspace that I closed available on this little drop down menu. I'll select that and you'll see everything load onto my screen. I have an area and a design. It's as simple as that. Now, I want to save this workspace, so let's go through those steps. Once again, we'll make sure our file tab is selected, and we'll choose Save from the ribbon. We want to save the workspace, so on the drop-down, we'll choose the second option. We'll have our little Save screen pop up, and you notice here it's going to save it in this folder, 2PS Tutorials. Well, I want to choose a different folder. I want to save it here in the PS Designs. And I want to give it a different name. So down here in this area, I'm going to tap it, and I'll have this little keyboard show up. I now have the option of giving it a name. I want to clear first to clear out that name, and then I can go ahead and type in a, a title for this workspace. We're just going to call this one Kim, because it's mine. And we'll click Save. It's as easy as that. Now that we've saved that workspace, let's do that one more time, just to make sure that we've got it down. Let's open the Workspace Library. On the ribbon, we'll select the Workspace button and click on Open. Right there, is my workspace, Kim. We'll select it by tapping it on the screen, and I know it's selected because it's showing up in the, this little bar down at the bottom. And we'll tap open. The workspace is now loaded, and you're ready to stitch it out.